guys I want to show you my psychopsis if you remember from a previous video it had some bulbs that had rotten I managed to remove them it's so hard to film because the sun is shining so strong outside so it gets dark but as you can see there are two bulbs left only and, and a little thing there and uh, this is doing well I don't know if the infection has spread it to the other bulbs or not, but they seem to be okay still, and they still have this spike, and <laughs> it's so up there, and by the looks of it, I think it will bloom, and I, I, will, I will show you the cakey, and here's the cakey. I just brought it from the other window here to show you, but I keep it in a place with a little less light. So here it is. It's in a very small pot with uh, sphagnum and perlite, and it only has one leaf. Ah, it's so hard to focus today. <laughs> But here you can see it. I hope it will be okay. It had uh, lots of good roots and some more damage because I had to remove it from the mount. And I keep it in a plastic cup to help it to keep it straight. But uh, as you see, it's um, a kind of fixed to the pot like that. So it will stay like that. I hope it will be okay, but it will take some years to grow. <laughs> The Cattleya Skinra is blooming and it's just beautiful. It's a little less blue than it looks like in the video. And it smells like daisies, but a very, very mild scent. I can only feel it if I stick my nose right into it. And uh, this is my Dendrobium Phalaenopsis, uh, Dendrobium um, Burana Green Star, and it has a spike. I think it will later make another one. It has some spot there that looks like it will later make another. So it's really nice. My Dendrobium Berioda seems to be doing a spike, maybe a cakey, but I think this thing over, over here is a spike coming. And I was just looking today at the cakeys. It has two cakeys with <laughs> absolutely enormous roots they are just really really long i wonder how the hell i'm going to be able to plant this later i don't know this is really 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 long <laughs> lots of roots and the dendrobium banana royal the little uh growth is, is growing I don't know if this will have energy to grow completely, but it has been growing. I can see some progress. And um, right behind, this is the Dendrob uh, <laughs> Cattleya Boris and Doris um, Christmas Rose, and it has at least one new growth. Let's see. Right over there. The other one. The pseudo bulb that was blooming didn't make any growth yet, but it will. It's an easy plant. And let's see if we can focus. This is that Cattleya Maxima that is without any roots. And it has made one growth here that is not growing much, so it started to make another one right here and because it's not growing well the plant is waking up all the all the ice dormant ice it has and it's trying to make a third one over here if you can see it i think this is a bad sign i think probably the plant has not enough energy to make these growths uh, to grow completely so they grow a little and stop and then another eye starts to try and then stops and then another 
I think this will not grow, but I will not throw it away. We'll see what happens. And this is the Sticla Vitellina, the new growth is growing really nicely. And this guy, <laughs> it's still bloomy. <laughs> it's a beautiful plant and I love it uh, because uh, it's a single bloomer. It makes more buds and the spike keeps growing. Lovely plant. Here are my streptocarpus. I repot them after the winter and they are in, in bigger pots now and and I have been giving them a diluted tomato feed uh, half strength and wow they are doing so well and this is just the sun, as you can see, it's not in the spot, it's just the light. See how the leaves have really started to grow. They are growing. This makes really, really long leaves. Very nice plant. This one here is the one that makes um, the yellow flowers. It is was it a good mood, the name. I'll put it in the screen. I love this one. And this one here is the cinnamon, and it's doing this very funny thing leaves, which is weird. But one of the new ones here looks a bit more normal. <laughs> we'll see. I hope to see them blooming again very soon. It's nice. They start to really grow now. <laughs> This is my trichopilia. I don't know if it's doing well or not. <laughs> I have never had one of these. Uh, what I read from uh, forums is that during the winter it kind of gets a little dry and it looks a little dead and the bulbs get really shriveled. So <laughs> this, at least this is what has happened to some growers here. And uh, later they bloom and they grow normally, so this could be okay, but in my opinion looks really bad. I have not really captured this, um, the spirit of this plant, I mean, I'm not one with it yet. <laughs> I don't know how to read it, I don't understand this plant so well. I um, have tried to keep this sphagnum sort of moist, but not soggy. Uh, but I'm trying to do what I read in a uh, forum to keep it a slightly drier during the winter and just wait maybe only in May, at least this is what has happened to other people, in May it might start to do something, it might start to bloom or grow. But for me, I think this plant is a bit weird and already when I got it, it had some spots. I don't know if this is normal. So I'm keeping it separated from my other plants, just in case, and uh, I'll try to see. Well, it has lots of weird spots. This is that Vanda that has very little roots, and it managed to grow this <laughs> new root over here, very nice one. The other ones are not really that great. Uh, they look a little dead, but they have new new tips in some places like there, so I'm keeping it. We'll see how well it does. On the other side, it has that little bump. It could develop into a root. I don't know it yet. We have to wait and see. And right here, the Paphiopedrum primulinum. I don't usually let the sun shine on it, but it just the the clouds have just separated for a moment and the sun starts to shine. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. And as you can see, well maybe we have to close the drapes. <laughs> Otherwise we can't film it. But let's see. As you can see it has two blooms at the same time, but this is just because the oldest bloom is drying 
and maybe if I touch it will fall it only makes one at a time but as the older one is getting dry the new one opened already and as you can see there is a size difference in the beginning but they open small but then then they grow a little bit a little still the older one is getting dry it's quite green when it opens but then it starts to become yellow <laughs> isn't it nice looks like they, they are in a row <laughs> can you see the color difference I will not touch it because I think it will fall that one is just about to fall at any moment well I hope you enjoyed the video have a great weekend bye bye